Today we're going to turn this into this. This here is going to be the spot where this amplifier is going to get mounted in. The plan is it's going to be a custom flush mount coffin panel which is going to cover around this whole amplifier which is going to go along this edge here over the top and alongside with the wheel well and all you're going to see is the front of the amplifier when it's all completed. The very first thing you're going to need to do is create yourself a template. Let me show you how I do it. So let's get start trimming this piece out. Now at this stage, you can see I got a pretty close fit for the most part, but there are going to be a couple little spots that are going to need some attention. I don't want this to be too tight because I do got to put some material on here so it's going to get a little bit more snug when I actually install it. So now I'm just going to tape on some extra pieces where I'm lacking so it's perfect up to the top and all the way to the side and everywhere else. Now at this point, you can see I've got this piece of cardboard template pretty well defined around all these edges. Of course, I'm going to tweak all these a little bit. Bottom's nice and level, around the wheel well looks real good, goes all the way up and hidden up on the top. So all I have to do now is take this template out, transfer it onto a piece of wood, rip out a rough shape, and then I can trace out a template for the amp where it's going to mount up in there. And this piece here is going to be actually be held in by pressure. I mean, I could add in a couple screws or Velcro or whatever, and I might, but for the most part, this piece will be self-sufficient when it's all done. So now, let's go to the wood shop and cut some wood. What I'm using for my amp coffin is a piece of Luon. It's basically like an ultra-thin piece of plywood, essentially, is what it is. It's a really good material for using for this kind of stuff. It takes to the glue really well. It bends a little bit, not too much, but it's rigid as well. It's, it's a cool little material to use. Now, this here is my piece that I need to trace onto here. This is going to be the bottom. So I'm going to use this edge. Voila! That is the template. So the innermost line is where I'm going to be cutting out. Right, so let's cut that right out. out roughly I'm going to test fit on there. You can see it's actually not that bad. It looks pretty decent. I'll show you. Not bad for a first time out, right? So for our first test fit this is looking really well. The bottom looks nice, it's flush. It's going all up around here perfectly. Um, I think that what I'll do is I'll make a, a hidden spot up here where I'll, put, I'll tack a screw in behind it and cover it with the material when it's completed and do it again up over here just to keep it within, in place nice and tight and firmly. Down here my plan is I'm going to take my amp and I'm going to mount it right up in here. I'm going to have about, about an inch or so, maybe three quarters of an inch, so I'm going to leave it up and I'll have it standing up vertically with my wiring facing the rear of the vehicle so that way I can run it around to where i got to get it to. 
um, let it sit flush. And I'm going to show you how I do the back end uh, construction portion of the amp. So like there's my amp, all my wiring, like I said, is going to be shooting over to the rear side. I don't want it sitting on the ground. I want it to be up a little bit. So I got some lumber in, inside I'm going to use to bring this up just a bit. I'm going to go get that block of wood, let this rest on it, and I'm going to trace out the exact amplifier dimension so that way I can move it back with this, with this jigsaw, cut that out, plus a little bit to make room for the uh, material that I'm going to wrap around there with the glue and the carpet and the trunk liner. Um, mount it up in there, fix it in there with some hardware. This thing should be all set to go. So for my piece that I'm going to use to space this out, this is one by. I'm just going to lay the amp on top of there, on my bottom straight edge. I'm just going to space it out so it's centered it in there for the most part. A little bit of wood on either side. And that looks just about perfect. So I'm just going to trace the amp out now. So I'm going to pull this off and you're going to see that I don't have markings on the bottom because I can't get at it. So I can just take this all down, pull it out. There you have my amp, so I'm going to cut this out. So once this is all done, then I can start covering this this piece here with material, wrap it up in there. Then I can start mounting the amp on the back so I'm getting it ready for my supports. And that should be uh, pretty good. And this coffin panel should be all set. Oh yeah. So in order for me to get my sawzall in there, I'm going to need to pop a hole in there so I can get my blade in there. I'm a little old school. I'm just going to use my old Unibit, great tool. If you don't own one of these, you need to get you one because they are really great. It's not made for wood, but I hope you won't tell. It goes through there like butter, right? See, now, now you know why I use it. It's like a glove. Damn, I'm good. So now my template for my amp is looking good. Now the trick is to actually make this thing stay mounted up in there in the vehicle. So this is how it's going to sit, right? Okay. So here's my plan. I mean, every amp is different. This one here just has these four holes. It's provisions for mounting. So some amps come with feet. They come with all kinds of stuff, detachable hardware. I mean, every amp is different. I can't certainly cover every amplifier in this video. But this is the part where you just have to be crafty. It does take a certain level of craftiness to make stuff like this. So this is how it's going to all lay out. So here's my plan. I'm going to show you the side view. Here's what I'm going to do. I want my amp to sit totally flush. Let me get this in the camera so that way you all can see. What I want you to see. All right, that's about right. So that's flush for the most part. It may not be perfect, but you get the idea. So you see down here, this is sitting out way behind the back side of the amp. So what I'm going to do is first off, just make sure the amp is sitting flush with that right there. Okay. Now. I'm going to mark that off and I'm going to cut rid of, cut off this here piece of wood. Then I'm going to make another piece which is going to go this way. So I'm going to have a 90 degree and I'm going to screw that piece of wood onto here. This I'm going to hot glue to the back side of here and then I'm also going to make a couple screws, hidden screws from the front covering it back with the material so that way it's totally invisible. But it's going to have structural support on the bottom, on the back, the top and a little bit behind. I'm going to leave these heat sinks totally alone because I don't want them to generate too much heat. I want the front to breathe. I want the backs to breathe. I want it to be as cool as the cucumber in air. So it's going to look good. It's going to function good. It's going to look smooth. It's not going to take up any space. It's going to be structural. It's going to be on the front, the bottom, the top, the side, every way. You don't have to get stupid with this thing and make all kinds of crazy full enclosures. Sometimes less is more. So that's what I'm going to go for. So what you see here now is I got my supports screwed in here and here 
did choose to move things around a little bit because I found it a little bit easier for a little bit for the wiring so I just did a little modification that's okay you always gonna find that I pre-drilled some holes for these guys to sit right on there So now with the final part of making this look great, and you're going to need a couple things. One, we use this spray glue, and of course I've got some trunk liner material, which you know, we, we have here by the yard, and I just cut out a piece, which is going to be enough to cover it and wrap it around, cut off some of the excess. So first things first, let's make sure you get rid of any of these little straggly pieces of wood that might make it look a little funny, make lumps and stuff, you don't want that. And lastly, this stuff takes really well to a knife, so if you have a little edge and you want to finesse it, straight edge, straight, straight edge knife will work wonders on this stuff. But my piece is, for the most part, looking real good. So I'm just going to go on ahead. So you're going to want to spray this pretty liberally. Try to keep the stuff off yourself, by the way. That's a surefire way to go home getting all kinds of trouble. You get this spray glue on you. So you want to want to spray that there. And as far as this trunk ladder goes, believe it or not, there's a side which actually is the side you're going to use. And there's a back side. So make sure very, be very careful that you spray glue the correct half. That would be a shame if you did the wrong side. Especially if you only had enough just to do the job. So you're going to want to spray that as well as the other part which is going to make contact with it. It's very important because it's you're going to lose almost half of your adhesion if you don't do this step. A lot of people don't even realize that. They just spray this and they stick this on there expecting it to stick well. But then when it starts to get all funny looking in a few months, that's why. So just give that there a minute or so to step set up. When you know it's set up it's because you'll feel it, it'll feel real tacky, almost stringy. about to do it so now so while the front side is curing I like to take this trim it out remove the excess and then I hit it with another set of spray glue give it another minute or so to tack up then I'll start folding in all the back side of it getting ready for the final product of mounting in the amplifier and getting this thing finalized so I'm going to cut all this excess off right now Another quick thought is unlike when you're doing furniture, there's no stapling involved in doing this type of work. So make sure you put enough glue in there. There's no staples ever used in this type of stuff. Some type of interior work there is, but this type of stuff, never. It's totally on this adhesive. So you're going to want to leave plenty of glue. You can always change your razor blade out. You probably will need to do that too. got a little piece there I think that looks pretty damn good but you be the judge you tell me and of course we got the amp just gonna fit right in there that's the way it should be my man oh yeah 
be a little adjustment, nothing too, nothing too serious. You can work with that. That looks pretty damn good to me. So there, my friends, is your finished product. There's your seam on the back side by the lights, up on the top, all the way through the back, around the wheel well. Finished product. So make your own. I would love to see some of you guys' photos. Please, if you, if you create something, and it's just whatever it is, it makes, makes me happy to see you guys making your own stuff, making your own cars, and making them look great, and making yourselves happy in the process. That makes me happy. So there's my tutorial for today. Hope you liked it. If you didn't like it, give it a like anyway. Because I'm trying. <laughs>